Chaplaincy in the ADF uh, is both from uh, the religious perspective and we also now have uh, non-faith-based chaplains as well uh, to support uh, the spiritual needs. The best way to understand it is uh, we look after people, so the well-being of the spirit. And when we talk about uh, spirit, we're talking about uh, the notion of culture, values, uh, ethics, uh, and uh, also morale generally, how people feel. The uh, people from Afghanistan, they've been through a lot and it's been uh, terribly difficult for them in navigating, getting through, uh, coming here, and to be able to give them a sense of reassurance that everything will be okay. When there's a crisis, all of us, we have a duty. And the duty is to support and to help and to assist in whichever manner that we are able to. And it is not about from where you come from, what is the colour of your skin. It is about that you are a human being first and foremostly. And it is our duty as human beings to assist and to help those people. I was the Imam uh, conducting the Friday sermon and then I also conducted uh, the Friday prayers. This was indeed a, an honour. Um, this was my first um, sermon or Friday prayer conducted for the ADF. The congregation, they were very supportive and very happy that we were able to conduct the Friday prayer and sermon for them. Each and every person that has come down or stepped down from the aeroplane, that they indeed have a story. And just to listen to, that, to, the, to them and to be able to, you know, be there and give them a bit of hope that brings peace and tranquility to their hearts.